please don't do this so this is a submission from marcosa 65 it's another beautiful background so let's see what we can do about it right away i can tell i will focus this feedback on one specific thing i remember your beautiful snowy mountains background and the moon which had transparency and the similar thing basically the same thing i'm encountering here and that is using transparency in pixel art please don't do this it's not a grave scene of course you can use it later on in especially in game engines if you are blending different uh, types of lights in pixel art it's certainly something that has been done in game development but when it comes to pixel art as is each and every single pixel must have a very conscious choice of placement and also color i can immediately see that this entire section is using transparency layer how can I notice that? Well, because everything here has a nice solid color to it and suddenly these colors of the clouds are obviously being blended. So if I take this color specifically, create a layer above it, paint over this and I reduce the transparency, I assume about half. You can see how I suddenly created this color. It's almost identical. It's not completely there just yet, but you can see what I'm talking about. You have a beautiful style in pixel art. And I see that you are also experimenting with different types of transparency layers. But I think that you are using those transparency layers in places where you are not sure how to render light on a specific material. In the previous video, those were clouds. In this video also, those were again clouds. So I will show you two different ways how you can attack this problem. And hopefully this will help you out. So let's start with number one. So the first way how you can tackle this is very easy. Simply remove the clouds altogether. The way you can do this is by replicating the color gradient which comes here all the way up as well. By that I mean, do you see how this color changes from basically white to yellow to orange to reddish and then all the way to purplish color? Well, you can do the same thing but up. And you have already started to do this. You have this yellow and then orange and then a red. And basically on the red tone, you are starting to blend those clouds with a transparency layer. So let's remove the clouds altogether. There we go. Then we are going to use one tone darker for the clouds above. And then again, one tone darker for the rest of the sky. And then this darker stone can be also used all the way here on top. And I'll try to match your streaky style, let's say, a little bit. And there we go. It's quite easy to do. If you think that the horizon line is a bit too low, you can bring it up just a little bit to make it like that. And there we go. That's essentially it. Easy way. Now, this doesn't solve the main issue, and that is how to render the clouds. So let's jump to example number two. This one is even easier because you have already rendered the clouds. I can see that you have the basic idea that since the sun is down, you will essentially light up the bottom sections of the clouds. So these are these brighter portions. Let's take this orange color and use it on these highlights. So wherever I think these highlights on the clouds should be, or rather the light tones, I will use this orange color like so. And the same goes for these ones as well, which are being blended. There we go. And then now I will take this red tone, one tone darker, to darken these sections, which are basically the shadow sections of the cloud, like so. And then the rest of these, I will use this tone to bring the color to the light itself. And there we go. Very easy to do. You have already made the placement of the clouds and their basic forms. Now all we need to do is apply the colors because the clouds themselves are basically white. And if the color of the environment or, the, or in this case, the atmosphere is very strong, you can simply shade those. Remember, we are not looking for hyper realism in pixel art. So you can leave a lot of it to your own interpretation and just do what you think feels the best. And again, if you want, you can bring this entire image up just a little bit and place it like that. And there we go. So we have the before and after an example number one, and we have the before and after an example number two. Again, you have beautiful style. Try not to use transparency unless it's within the game engine. It's nice to experiment with transparency layers, especially when you are trying to create easy reflections on the water and stuff like that. But overall, if you are creating a pixel art illustration, try to steer away 
from transparency layers as much as possible. So that would be all for today. Thank you for your submission, Marcosa. I loved seeing your submissions. And as always, remember, relax, enjoy, and have fun.